Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the problem with Magic the Gathering Online, and it's a very simple problem. It's the fact that it's an online game and it's so expensive. So we're looking at Port, which without the reprint is going to spike again, and it's at $200, and if you had one, someone would pay you close to $190, $188.25 for as many of them as you had. So Magic Online is different from Pokemon. If you've never played Pokemon, you get a boost online booster pack code in every single boost real booster pack. So when you buy a booster pack, you get the physical cards as well as an online code, which then you can open a booster pack. And Vanguard, at least in the beta form, is free, as it, well as Yu-Gi-Oh! and Dev Pro does not cost money. So when you look at other online card games, Hearthstone would probably be the biggest one. It's much, much cheaper. Um, there's not a trading component of it. It's kind of like you just buy the cards or you buy packs to open the cards you need. But the packs are not insanely expensive and they're not $4 a pack. So that's primarily the main problem of Magic Online is it resembles a the pricing is a physical card game but it's on the digital platform. So some of you might say, oh, redemptions, redemptions, but not all of these sets have redemptions. Uh, definitely not you know, any of the more valuable sets. When they did Tempest and Remastered, great, you have Wastelands, but you can't redeem them. Awesome. And when they did Vintage Masters, great, you have a Lotus. You can't redeem it. So primarily, that's the problem I see with Magic Online. Magic Online, I mean, there's UI, user interface, user design problems, user interaction, just a whole bunch of problems on how it looks. But the primary problem that prevents most players from getting in the game is it costs too damn much. Like, for if you compare it to Overwatch, where you pay $60 and you have a season pass and you're good to go. How can you compare the two? The two is so... You cannot compare the two. Even if you compare to Hearthstone, where packs are way, way cheaper, and your collection... You can actually build a sizable collection for under $25, when in Magic Online, you would be lucky to do a sealed event for 25 tickets. Overall, a, um, I think that was a critical mistake when they first did it. I don't know how they're going to recover. Maybe... Magic Next will be a evolution where it's not four dollars a pack, and that it's not like twelve dollars a sealed event, twelve fifteen dollars a sealed event, and our draft event sealed events are twenty five thirty dollars depending on how much money you're paying for a ticket. Overall, just too expensive.